Did you know that your home carries energy? Did you know that that energy of your home affects your finances, your love life, your social life? I'm going to tell you how. It's all about the number of your house. So stick with me and we're going to go through numbers one through nine and find out what kind of energy your home has. So first of all, to, a, to get to the number of your home, you need to break it down into to one number. And this is how you do that. Let's say, for example, your home is 123 Main Street. You would break that down to one and two is three, and three and three is six. So the number of your home would be a six. Um, if your home number was 47, so four and seven is 11 and one and one is two. So your home would be a number two. Now there is a master number 11, but for the sake of what we're talking about for our homes, we're gonna break the 11 down to a two. So go ahead and find out what number your home adds up to. And then we're going to find out if you're in the right place or not. So if you live in a number one home, this is what it means for you. This is a place where independence and strength rule. It's all about innovation and um, kind of the lone wolf energy. Now, this would not be a very good home for someone that really needs company all the time, you know, a partnership, um, or just having people around. Because a number one home can wing it all on their own. That energy of that home is strengthen the number one. It's all about independence. This is an excellent home number for a career, from, for working from home. It all works with that. Okay, so the number two home. Now this one is for partnership. This one is sensitive. It's cozy. It's all about the number two. So that means partnership. This is the home that newlyweds might want to buy. You know, number two, you and me. Number twos are a little romantic. Um, and the home carries this nurturing atmosphere. So if you're a lone wolf, number two is not for you. But if you need partnership, number two is a great home number to have. So with a number three home, if you're artistic, if you're a free spirit, if you just want to express yourself, this is great energy for you. But now, if you're the kind of person that just really craves stability and routine, a number three house probably won't go well with you. So one thing to remember with all of the numbers of the houses and the energy they carry, a lot of that depends on your own life path number. There's four numbers in numerology that are very important. So that's your life path, soul path, destiny number, and your personality number. Now, if you'd like to learn more about numerology, see the notes below and book a reading. And Stacy Lyons is 
amazing in numerology. She could really help you with this. Okay, so back to the numbers. Number four. All right. Number four is all about stability. If you're hardworking, if you like routine, if you're practical, this is the home for you. There is um, a sense of this home that you feel protected and stable. And yeah, everything kind of is routine in this home. It's easy to keep things on that level playing field. But now if you like energy that's moving and energetic and um, fast paced, a number four home probably isn't for you. What about number five? Oh, wow. So number five, it's active, it's ever-changing, it's social, um, dramatic, dynamic. Um, things are constantly changing in a number five household. It's good for starting things. Like if you wanted to start an at-home business, if you wanted to start a new career, I mean, it's good for communication. Number five homes change in a heartbeat though. So if you like that stability, a number five home probably isn't for you <laughs> because it changes constantly. Lots of company in a number five home. Unexpected company, you know? <laughs> okay, so number six. So an even number, we get back to more stability. Now, a number six home is about family and love. A number six home is very harmonious. You walk in and you just kind of, feel the, the harmony in this household. This is the perfect home for um, maybe having your first child, raising your family. It, the atmosphere is cozy and warm and um, it's so perfect for family. And um, family get-togethers happen quite often. So let me tell you, if you're not into family, and some people are, some people rather go it alone. And um, well, actually, some people don't even like their family, and that's okay too. Well, a number six is probably not your home then. Okay. All right. Let's move to home number seven. Now, seven is a very spiritual number. Um, it's introspective. It's the kind of home where you're really trying to figure out your spiritual path. Um, if you do spiritual work, you know, Reiki healing, um, any kind of healing work, this is a good home for you because it's very spiritual. It's, it's very calming. It's such a nice vibe if you just want to meditate. Again, if you like the action, number seven's not your place <clears throat> because it's peaceful. Not a lot of um, action going on there. This is more for, it's more of a loner energy, the seven is. Spiritual, loner. Um, it's a very nice energy, especially if you are on a healing path or you're just on the path to find yourself, your yourself to find your soul number eight wow okay 
abundance, material gain, ambition. Number eight is a very ambitious number. When you walk into a number eight home, there's a certain power to it. Like you can feel that ambitious energy. You know, it's a popular place to be because it's upbeat, but you can kind of feel the abundance of a number eight home. Now, that doesn't mean if you live in a number eight home that you're going to automatically just be um, rich and famous, but it does mean the possibilities are there for you. The energy of that home creates this atmosphere of abundance. Now, this includes hard work, but it's a powerful energy to have. And if you're more in the, I don't know, the fun loving or just independent energy, an eight may not be for you. Because it does draw other people in. The number nine home carries um, a spiritual awareness. This is the home of people, or it can be the home of people that um, are helpful, that want, actually, that want to serve mankind in some way. The number nine carries this atmosphere of love. Um, it's also a spiritually aware home, but unlike the number seven, um, the number nine invites more people in. The number nine is a home of compassion. It's a home of service. So I know everybody wants to be of service, or I hope they do for everybody else. But if you have a really independent energy about you, and you like to work alone, um, you're really ambitious, this may not be the home for you. All right, everybody, this has been so much fun. So Next time, maybe I'll tell you how to change the energy of your home if it's not the energy for you. See ya.